Hi guys, this is Lena at Graylink. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, we are going to be doing a several part webinar series on the financial section. And so this is part one. And uh, initially we're going to be talking about how to set up your financial area in Gradelink. And then uh, the last few webinars will be about how to manage your financial section in Gradelink. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. Like I said, this is part one. We're going to be talking about how to build your sessions. So the first place you want to go is click on your financial section. Then go ahead and click on the admin button in the upper right corner. Then click on the sessions button, which is sort of towards the top of your page here. So uh, before the school year starts, you're going to want to build your session for the next school year. So the school open from box is going to be uh, the beginning of when your school year starts. The school open through would be the last day of the school year. The school session title would just be the name of the school year. If you're building a session for the summer, you might want to put the word summer so that you know uh, which year or which uh, session it belongs to. But typically, you would just title it something like the name of the school year. The receivables open from box, you want to actually put a date well before the date that school starts. And the reason for that is whatever you put in this box is going to determine when you'll be allowed to go into your financial section and input charges that may pertain to next year. So for example, you might want to put in a registration payment well ahead of when the school year actually starts. Or you might have a parent who makes the tuition payment for next year, and they made that payment several months before the school year started. So in this case, I would probably go back to maybe even March as the receivables open from date. And then the receivables open through date is going to determine how long after the school year ends that you still collect um, money for charges that pertain to last school year. So I would extend this date out a couple months after the school year ends. So maybe August of 2015 would be an appropriate date. The receivables edit status drop-down box needs to be set to open in order to input financial information for that school year. So it's going to be open, again, well before the school year actually starts. So to open it, you just select Open. And then you would click the Save button at the bottom of the page in order to add that session in. And we see it appears over here in this left panel. Um, one word about um, sessions, you want to have them span an entire school year. The only exception would be for colleges. And colleges should span a semester at a time. But for high schools and lower, you want them to span an entire semester school year. The Suppress Online Statements checkbox is for if you want to not allow parents to view their statements online through their Gradelink account for this school year currently. So if I want to hide statements from the parent side, then I would check this Suppress Online Statements checkbox, and it would just hide statements only for this 2014-2015 session. If, however, I do intend for parents in the future to be able to download um, a statement, then I would uh, leave this unchecked. Okay, this is sort of step one, building your session. Uh, the next video we're going to talk about how to configure uh, your billing category, so stay tuned.